you will need a two and a half inches square cookie cutter and a two inch square cookie cutter. Stencils, leather cookie cutters, toothpick, tiny circle cookie cutter. You're going to need ribbon to make the banner. For this project, you will need flooding consistency icing in white, electric, electric yellow, yellow, a mix from electric green and avocado, a mix from fuchsia and electric purple, electric orange, teal, consistency icing in a mix of electric pink and deep pink, fuchsia, and white. Very well. Okay, in the smaller square, I'm gonna cut a little flower so you can see two different kinds of papel picado cookie, okay? So, I'm gonna take out the cookie and then I'm gonna make little circles in the top so we can pull the string out, okay? And then using a smaller toothpick, we're going to make little holes wherever you want. picado cookie that you did the holes inside the cookie okay this is one style the other style is gonna be using your stencils and your letters as cookie quarters okay so we're gonna bake these cookies at 350 for about 10 to 13 minutes depending on your oven okay And you are going to make also the little holes in all your squares cookies so we can pull the string to make your papel picado banner. Meanwhile, you can prepare your icing and I'm going to leave you a card in the top so you can see the full recipe. Very well. You have your icing in a squeezing bottle with a two and a half or three decorating tip and your flooding consistency icing. So we're going to start putting the icing all around your cookie just trying to prevent them to go in the little holes, okay? Very well. This is ready. Always, always remember, shake your cookie and if they have any bubbles or something, you just shake it out. And this is super important, the consistency of your icing because if it's too runny, then it will go inside all the holes. Very well, for these ones, you are going to use your outline icing consistency or the medium icing consistency, and you are going to outline the circles. You mark the circle, and then using your floating consistency icing in white, you are going to cover all your cookie, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing in all your little squares, okay? Very well. Now our cookies are completely dry and I mark some of the letters and numbers that I'm gonna use using a stencil and edible markers. And also, if you don't have a stencil similar to this, you can use your same cookie cutters as a template, okay? As you can see, I write the letter A and then I'm gonna go over with the royal icing medium consistency in color white, okay? So right now, I'm gonna mark another letter just for you to see, this is a hard one, this is very big, so I'm going to try. Okay. 
you are just going to mark the outside of your letter. Over here, and then we're gonna do the same thing with all your letters. Okay? not just Cinco de Mayo, but Day of the Dead, or Mother's Day, or any other Mexican theme, and it will be very, very cute addition to your dessert table. Thank you very much for coming again, and please subscribe, share it with your friends, give me some likes if you really like it, and leave me a comment if you have any questions or suggestions, okay? See you next time, bye, and happy Cinco de Mayo.